Yo, so what's going on everybody? Welcome to and welcome back to another Photoshop retouching tutorial. I am your host, celebrity and fashion photographer, Chris Cavanaugh. And in today's episode, we're going to get into a full fashion retouching tutorial with fashion uh, skin editing and also color grading. I'm excited about this image because I shot this as an ad campaign uh, for Carmen Mark Valvo. He is a New York based fashion designer and we shot this in East Hampton, New York. And I absolutely love this image. It's very, you know, dreamy. It's very ethereal. And I just wanted to go in and create a color grade that matches, you know, the mood that's going to this. So within this video, I'm not going to particularly be getting into in full extent the color grading because I'm going to use my Photoshop action that I created for this uh, particular photo right here. And that will be available in my uh, Photoshop Pro Level Pack that is on my website, www.chrisphotostudios.com. Photo is spelt with the F-O-T-O. And we're going to dive right into this. So if you like this action, you're able to purchase it. It will either be individually $10 or you can buy it in the LUTs Pack, the Pro LUTs Pack. And that will be 15 actions for 60 bucks that will be available this Friday right here. So right now, let's, uh, you know, stop talking and let's get into it. So my first thing that I'm going to do is in my whole process when I'm editing is to analyze the image to see what's going on that I want to perfect and what I can fix. So as you can see, the sand has been kind of, well, what it is, it's kind of, you know, very distracting. So what I want to do is eliminate this and diminish the actual structure of the sand. So what I'm going to do is go in with this over here to the clone stamp tool, I'm going to click the clone stamp, move the brush up a little bit bigger, and then I'm going to start lightly brushing across those areas that I want to diminish. Now, let's see, I'm going to go up here and change my opacity to it about 70, I'll say about 80%. And I'll just start going through this and cleaning things up. See how quickly I'm moving through that. And I'm literally just taking those areas that are around the particular, you know, dress that I want to, you know, clean up and diminish that to still look a bit natural, but at the same time it's clean. So here I'll show you a quick before and after. And there we go so far. So then right now we're going to move right into the front portion of this and just start sampling from each angle of what we're moving. And then I'm also going to kind of, while I'm working, adjust the brush size as well. There we go. And just start diminishing a little bit more. And honestly, this portion of it, uh, if you want to speed along a little bit more, this portion will be the more extensive aspect of the retouching because it's so much that needs to be done and I want it to look natural into form. And for you guys that are watching as well on my Patreon, or wherever this is hosting uh, that I decide to host it at as well outside of Patreon, please feel free in the comment section to list below, you know, some things that you would like to perfect in your retouching tutorial. But I would also like to, you know, give a huge shout out and thank you to 
all of you guys who are, you know, supporting the Patreon. And I'm excited to be bringing to you guys exclusive content only to you first, you know. And with this, man, I have so much more content that's going to be coming to you guys. Uh, because, you know, my main thing is I love to teach and I love to help people out to get better in their art and what they do. So if I can bring you guys a product that is, you know, quality of quality, then why not? All right. So as you can see, we're kind of, you know, getting down on this process and finishing things up. So I'm going to move my brush size down a little bit more. All right, cool beans. All righty. So now what I'm going to do is go into the retouching academy and go to the frequency separation Gaussian blur. And I want to just make this sand a little bit more cohesive and blend it. So I'm going to lightly just be brushing around this and making it not so much of a distraction. All right, cool, cool. All right, and we're going to just deselect this. And then what we're going to do is go into the actual adjustments of the image so first thing I'm seeing as I begin to analyze and like I said it's always important to analyze what needs to be corrected so as you can see we have you know different little moles and things like that we can remove and get rid of Let's get that correct. There we go. I uh, definitely say that it's important to, you know, get a clean base to the skin when you're retouching. That way, when you go into frequency separation and uh, retouching the academy, you know, you already have a clean base to the image. So it's not anything crazy that you'll have to try to work around. And pay attention to the details when you're, you know, editing as well. All right, so we're going to just keep going up and seeing things we can perfect. And this is just the first go around of this. When I go back in, I'm going to make the image black and white and then pull the tones down, the reds, so that I can actually see more of what needs to be perfected and cleaned in the skin that visibly I can't really see on this particular aspect so as you can see we're just removing all of the imperfections that are on the skin these little moles and things like that all right so here I'll show you a little quick before and where we are with the after all right so now I'm going to go in a little bit more and I just want to diminish the visibility of the hair so we're going to go in with the clone stamp tool and just start lightly brushing around these particular areas where the hair is very noticeable and it's you know kind of sticking up because it was very windy and just going around this you can change the brush stroke and the thing is I have it on a light opacity because I don't want it to look too hard, but at the same time, I want it to have a little bit of structure within the image. Start cleaning this up a little. Yep. Do 
just zoom out right quick. See where we are. Then I'm going to step in with that patch tool and just move things around a little bit. Alrighty. So now, like I said, I am going to, uh, well here, I'll give a quick before and after right quick so of where we are right now. So now what I'm going to do is go into the black and white, like I said, and I am going to bring down the reds in the skin so that we can start seeing the imperfections that we didn't really get when we were in color. So now I'm going to start doing the same exact thing. All right. So there we go. Just trying to get a clean base to it. All right, so I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to go right back in to cleaning up these little bands. So I'm gonna go right back into the um, clone stamp tool and I'm going to just start selecting around. I'll move the opacity up a little bit and start selecting around where we want to get rid of this little moment. All right, so now we're gonna go right over and repeat the same task. I'm going to change the hardness of this brush down a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is hop right into Retouching Academy. And I'm going to zoom out. And then I'm go going to go into the frequency separation 16 bit. I'm sorry. I'm missing had a layer open right quick. 16 bit there we go boom and i'm going to just zoom in a little bit and start cleaning up the arms and i'll say one thing as well with my color grading actions once you get uh you know the actions into photoshop you'll be able to actually look at the step-by-step -step process of what I chose in my workflow process to get those results. So that's one thing I definitely say that is great to have when you're working with a photographer's color grading action. And like I said, this one will be individually by itself for 10 bucks, but you can also go into getting 15 of these pro level uh, actions in the pro level pack by simply purchasing it for $60 and then you'll get more than you know what's shown 
Or you can always get the other actions by themselves as well for 10 bucks. But that's a really good deal for 16, uh, 15 actions for 10, 60 bucks. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to start brushing around the skin. Getting a good base to it before I go in with the magic skin tone and also digital skin texture. Just want to make sure we're getting the best result. Okay, so now we're going to deselect this. And we're going to go into the digital skin texture. And start lightly brushing around these particular areas. So now what I'm going to do is go in, like I said, with my color grading actions. And as you can see, we're to the point where we have the image looking like we want to. We cleaned it up. So I'm going to go in with my color grading action. This one is called East Hampton. And just click play. And see how it brings it to a absolutely gorgeous result so this is the before and the after so my main thing for this video in particular is to just teach you guys that it doesn't take a lot to get a you know great overall result when uh, editing you just have to take your time going with uh, you know my main thing and main method of using a spot heel patch tool uh, also the clone stamp tool and then I do a lot in retouching Academy and then like I said while you're going over You know this Photoshop action that's in you know being displayed right here Called East Hampton you get to go once you purchase it and put it into Photoshop and see all the methods That I use with my color grading to be able to achieve this result and you can always tweak it if you want to as well um, but yeah, this is Another color grading tutorial that I'm happy to bring to you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you back in the next video. Goodbye.